Hey everyone, welcome to the Hornet King channel, and in this, I have a special episode for you guys. I'm joined with a fellow YouTuber and friend of mine, Jack, from Jack's World of Wildlife, and he is gonna answer some of the questions that I get in my comments, which one of being, of the species that I remove, which wasp sting is the worst? Now, I have my personal opinion, which is probably the Southern Yellow Jacket, but we got Palaces metricus, Southern Yellow Jacket, German Yellow Jacket, and one of the favorites on the channel, the Bald-Faced Hornet, oh, yeah. Jack. Are you ready to get stung by some wasps? Oh, I am ready to get stung by because some wasps. Because I'm not gonna get stung intentionally. <laughs> if I get stung during my removals, that's one thing. Right. But this guy is actually gonna hold it to his arm and get stung Absolutely. for you guys. <laughs> How sweet of me. <laughs> so we grabbed this out of a tree uh -huh. and vacuumed everybody up and brought it home specifically for Jack. So sweet. <laughs> so, so nice of you to get a beautiful, I mean, take a look at that. Look at the size of this it's nest. It's almost as big as your head. Almost as big as my head, yeah. So we're gonna crack open this nest. I had this nest sitting in my refrigerator all night, so that way they'd be kind of calm when I start removing the envelope. You don't want them all jazzed up? Not yet. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, all right. I'm gonna get them upset when they're in your tweezers <laughs> and against there your There we go, yeah. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna crack this thing open here and see what we can find. There should be a lot of larva, which the girls are trotting around behind us and they're getting ready to... Uh... The chickens are hungry. Yeah, the chickens are hungry. Wow, look at that. Look at how many layers. Oh, folks, come in and take a look at this. Oh, wow. Take a look at all these little pupae, little cocoons here, but take a look inside of each of these little chambers. You can see a lovely little larva. So once you get inside of these big bulbous kind of paper nests, it's very similar to what you might see externally from like a paper wasp nest. Usually you'll see these kind of hexagonal little chambers that they're depositing their eggs in and then of course raising their larva inside of. And you see one down here too, Jack, is one is uh, weaving her silk cap to become a pupating adult. Oh yeah, she's just starting to get that kind of cottony yeah. silk top so you see it's it's come out and it's not that hexagonal shape it's round and it's going to be topped off like all of these here oh my gosh this is so cool now what do you find that these hornets that these yellow jackets are feeding their larvae pretty much anything they, anything. anything that they can find cool. mainly flies spotted lantern flies japanese beetles aphids um, other wasp species so i'll find that like they'll, they'll bring in other yellow jackets sure pretty much anything that they can find to feed to the larva. Wow. So the adults don't actually eat solid food, is mm -hmm. that they will bring back a solid insect, sure. they'll mash it up, mm -hmm. and then they'll feed that to their mm -hmm. larva. So the larva will act as an external stomach, mm -hmm. they'll digest that meat, and then they'll regurgitate a fluid, and that's what the adults will eat. So oh it's a little bit gosh. of a give and take for these species. Yeah, that is awesome. Wow. Let's crack it up a little further, sure. see, see if we can knock on the door and see if anybody's home. So we, oh, had a, wow. we got a large one here. Really big. A little stun frozen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oops. She may be dead because she she might have died before I put it in the refrigerator. So you got to watch. They're Beautiful. creeping between the layers here too. So yeah. Yeah. Because all these, I mean, if you look at this, folks, each of these little layers, I mean, they can have all sorts of tunnels and chambers mm -hmm. and things. I mean, they're coming in and then they're snaking through all these tunnels looking right. for places to get in. And this was built in a bush that had a lot of twigs. So they were building around all of these branches and things. So they pretty much are opportunistic, however they need to build their, their layers. Sure. Wow. And I mean, folks, this is, I mean, this is where you get that name, paper wasp. This is, for all intents and purposes, paper. paper. This yeah. is a paper nest. I mean, the, what they're doing is they're scraping, you know, wood filaments off of, you know, trees or fences and yep. old sheds and things like that. And they're mixing that with saliva and they are creating a paper paste, which then they will line, you know, you can see each of these individual lines, you know, that could have been from one little piece of darker wood or gray wood or lighter wood, and they mix that with their saliva, chew it into a pulp, and then they sit there and line and line and line as they build out this extensive and impressive nest. Right, and if you look at how many actual lines are on the, these nests, I mean, there's thousands and thousands of lines. Absolutely. So that's representative of one wasp for how many hours collecting material and building the nest. Which is ridiculous. They say busy as a bee. Yeah, right. It should be busy <laughs> as a wasp. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Look at all these larvae. And this is like a, a three-story yeah. little daycare yeah. here. Yeah, and these are queen comb here. So these are all, yeah, wow. she gets shots of that too. 
So these are all queen cells. So these would become new queens eventually. And you can see that the larvae inside are much bigger than some of the larvae that you see down here. That is impressive. I've never actually been able to take a look at, oh, check this out, guys. Yeah, We've got a way fresh, through. brand new adult starting to chew its way out of this little pocket. Oh, wow. New life. I believe that's the queen there. Oh, wow, look at so her. We got the queen. She's pretty. Come here. Oh, oh there she goes. There she goes. <laughs> <laughs> she's doing circular flights, so she'll do that as a uh, do an orientation flight. So sure. she'll fly around in circles Figure and then she'll where, know she's, where at. she's at. Awesome. Yep. That this is, is all, so cool. This is all new to her. Brand new habitat, I'm sure. This particular species doesn't last much later than like mid to late September. So this one being as, adv as advanced as it is, it probably would have been done by like mid September. Wow. So. And then that's when they send out those, those queens coming yep. out of this little queen chamber yep. here. And then they burrow into logs and under mm -hmm. rocks and stuff, and they overwinter in there. And then when it warms up, they wake up and they go and start scraping wood and building their own nests to start their brand new colonies. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. And we can even pop a couple of these uh, sure. cells off here, yeah. cell caps, and uh, just take a look at them individually. So this is one wow. one comb there. You can pop a couple of these. Yeah. yeah. So that's right when one would hatch, they would come out and they they put themselves upside down into the cell and they collect, lar or collect fluid from some of the larvae down below. But they'll sit like that for a day or yeah, so. that is awesome. Here's another one. Let's see if we can pop, Beautiful. One of these, pop one of these silk caps off. Sure. Yeah, so there's a pupating adult in there. Okay. Yeah, right, she'll rip apart. So. Yeah. They're really delicate in this stage. So they're actually more delicate in this stage than they are as a larva. Yeah. Oftentimes they, uh, they ooze the second you touch them. But Secure. I think she might be far enough along that you could probably get her out. No pressure. Yeah. It's like right. the game Operation, remember? Yeah. Yeah. And Oops. her leg will fall off if you pull her leg. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sure. Uh, there you go. You got it. Oh, yeah. All right. Take a look at that. Head's a little smushed. That's okay. But they're all getting eaten by the chickens yeah. after anyway, so they don't go to waste. But take a look at that. Perfectly. Oh, those little legs. There's the thorax, the abdomen. Look at this yellow jacket come to visit. She senses the <laughs> She pheromone. smells something. Yeah. <laughs> and here's an adult right here for comparison. Yep. Don't sting me on the finger. <laughs> <laughs> but she's actually got her wings folded between her mm -hmm. second and third legs here. Another little clear packet. You can see those dark eyeballs, the mandibles. This is a basically a fully functional adult. So over time that that, that skin like material that's on them will mm -hmm. harden into the chitin, the ex exoskeleton, and then they'll have all of their normal features as, a, as an adult wasp, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, that is super impressive. I always have a partial side to me for the insects that go through complete metamorphosis because I love seeing their pupil stage. It looks so alien. And from larvae to pupae to adult, it's always so impressive to see, you know, what you get trying to figure out what's going on, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, she's more confused, I think, than anything. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, these are such interesting and unique. There she's got a little bit of a defensive yeah. posture. Yeah, Aiming her abdomen towards me to try Yeah, it looks like sting. she's pretty fresh, too. She, she probably doesn't have her stinger fully formed yet. Yeah, I don't see her sticking anything out. Mm -mm. So it's usually about two days before their ovipositor is fully developed to mm -hmm. be able to be um, retracted and pushed out. That is crazy. <laughs> and, oh, did you get one? What was that? Oh, that's one of those big beetles. Oh, look at wow. that, the big click beetle. <laughs> look, look, we have a, a special guest, yeah. a little eyed click beetle, yeah. Aleus uh, oculatus, little eastern eyed click beetle. Look, that click is it away. funny. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. It sounded like a bat flew at my arm. <laughs> <laughs> a big clumsy. Yeah, boom, yeah, yeah that's, what it like. over. that's what it sounded like. That is funny. Look at yeah. that. <laughs> little click beetle. Let's see, if, see if she takes off. Oh, oh. no, she's like, I'm, she I'm going to play dead. <laughs> Here, we'll let, we'll let her rest on yeah. this table. Yeah, maybe she'll take off. See if she'll run off. That is funny. Yeah, that's wild. I was like, oh man, a bald face. Yeah, I thought, she came, I thought she was coming back for yeah. a back attack, you know? <laughs> Not to be mistaken with lack attack. All right, so what do you want to, uh, should we? <laughs> Saddle birdies. Saddle birdies. <laughs> On top of looking at, we're also going to be testing the stings of four different species. We have the bald face hornet, the southern yellow jacket, the German yellow jacket, and Polistes metricus. Paper wasp. I will interject that bald-faced hornet 
is one of the most notorious and feared wasps of the ones that I remove. However, in my experience, the southern yellow jacket has the worst sting. That's my opinion. I'm curious to see what you think. That's your opinion. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's now my... <laughs> we are going to test that. So, without further ado, let's let's just get at it. Yeah. And let's see. Yeah. I mean, I've taken stings from a lot of stuff. Bullet ants, tarantula hawks, all kinds he's of stuff. He's been stung and bit by so many. Is it bitten or bit? Bitten, yeah. It's, he's been bitten by so bitten. many different yeah. so many different types of animals. So he'd be the man to tell you how bad these things would be in comparison. Yep. Doesn't mean it's not gonna hurt, but it's definitely gonna be He might cry a little bit, Just but we'll cut that out. A handful so. of tears, yeah. <laughs> but we wanna show my good side. That's right, he's tough. All right, I'm gonna pull this little bald face out. Got a good hold on our thorax, but take a look at that, folks. Really nice little, good size, a medium worker. I can see her stinger already firing out. Take a look at that. Now, I've, all, I've been stung by this species before, but only by a queen. So we're gonna put her right here. Beautiful little hornet. Let's see. Bald face hornet, here we go. Oh, oh yeah! Ow! And you're holding it there. Oh, I'm holding <laughs> it there. Well, her stinger's barbed in. Take no, a look at that. Oh, yeah, it's oh, like, sometimes it does that to my gloves. Oh, doink, doink, doink. Yep, she's, she's in there. Wow. That was a really good start. That'll wake you up, that's for sure. Ah, youch! So is that as bad as the one you got stung that someone sent to you, or is that absolutely not? The same? This is way worse. Is it worse? It's wow. way worse. Than She's the, a fresh one. Yeah, than the queen that we took a sting from. Wow. Uh, I'm really impressed by that. That was ridiculous. It's, it's red already. Let's yeah. Oh yeah. Take a look at that. And that was a good sting. And two, I normally go, don't get stung this far up, so I'm wondering yeah, if that, sensitive if that skin, might yeah. hurt a little bit more. But right. yeah, I mean, take a look at that. That's already yeah. getting nice and purple. Wow. So there we go. Um, that's really painful. It's an immediate kind of sharp pain. I, I would equate it to somebody, you know, took a blowtorch to a sewing needle yeah. and then dipped it in lemon juice and yep. then went Boo! Yeah, that's usually what I yeah. tell people oh, too. It's man. like a hot poker. Ooh, hot, yeah. hot needle. Yeah. And, but now, honestly, I mean, it's, it's probably at about 20% capacity of what it was okay. at the initial standpoint. And from my experience, this should kind of just slow into a, just a, in the background kind of right. just tingling. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. and it might itch a little bit, but I mean, you can already see there's some inflammation Yeah, that'll start showing up on that little yeah, kind of that too. epicenter. But that was a yeah. really good sting. I'm really yeah. impressed. And you can already see how red raised. Yeah, my skin is. It looks a little bit raised too. I'm very impressed yeah. by that. That was that's one of the best yellow jacket stings yeah. I've received. And you put today. her back in there. Wow, good for you. Oh yeah, <laughs> you got her in. Yeah, I yeah. got her just over there. I'm gonna let them all go yeah, at the right. end. Yeah, that's right. You gotta put her back. Southern yellow jacket, which you say is pretty nasty. It's one of my more painful ones. Of course, that's a little one. I don't, you know. Yeah, she is small. <laughs> now I have taken a sting from a, an overwintering squamosa queen down in Texas, mm -hmm. which was pretty gnarly. And she was actually, I think she might be a newly hatched, so probably within the last day, but it looks like she's getting trying to sting. Oh yeah, sting, her stinger's sting out. Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you ready for this, Jack? Oh, I'm, I'm ready as I'll ever be. be. <laughs> yeah, so this is Vespula squamosa. Oh, no, don't fly away. Okay. Come on. Looks like she's nabbing the side. Her of her legs, yeah. but. Try and catch her now. No, <laughs> just take your fingers. I <laughs> know, oh, that's gonna be worse. Yeah. No, I don't wanna grab your. Whoa! Did I almost lose her? Where'd she go? Uh, I thought she went that way. Oh, Jack. She wasn't stinging me. Yeah, so right. No, she wasn't. She, she I mean, really she, wasn't. She, she, she's probably a, a newly hatched. She's probably, probably too young. Yeah. Take a look, though. Yeah, after right. that, yeah. look at the bald face. Whew. Jinkies! Yeah, that's a that's a good mark. Oh, what's on my face? Is it her? Oh, that's yeah, it's her. It's her. What the? Oh no! Come on! Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, don't She's... sting me on the face. No freaking way! That's what the what <laughs> the heck? <laughs> All right, let's try this again. No, that's a good that's a good position too. Come on. I mean, her stingers, stingers in, in, but there's like no venom. Yeah, I'm not feeling too much. So yeah, she's too new. Thanks for trying. Yeah. But that's okay because we have another little yellow jacket. 
Yeah. Man, that is a welt, man. Look at that welt. Actually, I mean, she got me a little bit. You can see right there. And I think, actually, now that I feel it, I think she stung me on the face. Did she really? Yeah. Wow. It's definitely a slow burn, but you can see uh -huh. right there. See how that's a little, yeah, a little lot bit lighter? Yeah. yeah, a little race, but I mean, nothing, like nothing compared order. so far. <laughs> but I have a, I want to say good feeling, but it might just be a bad feeling right. about the German, German yellow, yellow jacket. jacket. To, in my opinion, that's one of the weaker ones that I deal with. The weaker ones? Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. hopefully. Hopefully that's the case. Hopefully that's the case. Okay. There you got her. Look at that stinger just firing out, firing onto the tweezers there. Ooh, focus. Whoo-wee. I cannot get that to focus. Well, oh, look at that. She's trying to get into the side of it. Beautiful German yellow jacket. Let's try this sting, shall we? Come on. Oh, okay. Let's do it again. You want to get me again? Ooh, definitely, uh, definitely painful for sure. Look at that stinger yeah, stuck in my arm good. again. Oh, oh, get a better grip on you. Oh man, I would not do this on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. You got her. It's uh, it's it's a good sting. It's a hefty sting, but uh -huh. I mean, still nothing like this. Really surprised yeah, right. me. Yeah. Take a look now. Yeah. Here's the German yellow jacket. Got me twice. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So there's the bold faced hornet, yep. and that's the. Uh, German yellow jacket and the southern, southern somewhere in there. Yellow jackets right there. Can I see it? Can I see it? Southern, yeah. Is it red over there? A little it's bit. It's in the beard. Yeah. Like she, right here or something right. like that. She probably nipped you. Yeah. And then I do think that this Ballistis Metricus is going to be pretty nasty. So I'm not going to be surprised if uh, if this one might take the cake. So let's yeah. see if I can get this uh, Ballistis out. A little lankier. At least the yellow jacket being so tiny, but. Cool. All right, there's the beautiful Polisys Metricus. Gorgeous purple highlights on the wings, spectacular red on the thorax, on the head, gorgeous abdomen, and a gigantic stinger. <laughs> yeah, she's no deep one. And now we're going to get Polisys Metricus, beautiful, beautiful paper wasp. Let's go. Oh, 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 man, she's going crazy. Get a good one. Ow. She's only, oh, wow. Oh, uh, ow, she, ow, ow. Okay, yeah. So okay. She's put it she, back in. Oh, she's, she's definitely oh, she's won the cake. Up. Ow. Oh, whoa. Oh. Ouch! No thanks. <laughs> oh, oh man, look at that! I mean, it, she's really drawing yeah. a bit of blood there. Yeah. Oh. Feel oh yeah, my oh, arm's my gonna be like. Pfft, yeah, right. Like a freaking blimp. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. That one actually, I think, was Is definitely it? more painful, and it's lingering a lot more. Uh huh. And it's wider. All this yeah. is like oh, yeah. just yeah. like sensitive to the touch. It almost feels like you know a little mini sting everywhere yeah, you poke. Right. Wow. Wow. Okay. So that is really impressive. And so far, no anaphylaxis. So I don't yeah. have to use this EpiPen. Yeah, we got the EpiPen <laughs> just in case. Yeah. I, I normally never have one because uh, this is actually the first time that I have taken four stings from four different animals mm, at um, one time. At one time. Yeah. And so this is this is a lot. Yeah. Like, just for absolute sure, mm -hmm. you're saying that the worst. So far, it was the Polices Metricus, then the yes. bald face, then the German, then the Southern. Yes. But the Southern, you know, we didn't have a great yeah, test. Yeah, I, I don't think we had a good So a, I probably would test. just discount that one. Yeah, right. But absolutely, the, the German, it was painful. But these two in particular, and not by much. Mm -hmm. I mean, this one was really, really bad. Mm -hmm. But this one, I mean, is still freaking got my arm on fire. Yeah. 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 You could tell, too, that those wasps were reluctant to sting him. The first thing they were trying to do was get away. Absolutely. And the only time they stung was when they were forced down onto his arms. So that mm -hmm. just kind of gives you a little bit of perspective. When I'm doing removals, they're nipping at me, but they're yeah. not... Like yeah, trying to just kill me. They're Come trying in. to get me away from their nest. And so. I mean, just just to give you guys a frame of reference, there she goes. There she goes. That was the bald face. Here's the southern. Come on. <laughs> she's exhausted. She's like, she's like, no, I'm just gonna sleep here. Look at that. Right on my finger there. You can see, even after she's been made to sting me, she has no interest in continuing. A siege on my bodily health. Right. 
They want nothing to do with you just as much as you want nothing to do with them. That's right. There's yep. that one goes. And one of Polissi's metricas. <laughs> yeah, don't sting me, girl. Yeah, right. Well, maybe you drained her. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping. Come on. And there she goes. That's that's their main goal. Yep. They want to they want to avoid you, and that's what I say, really and truly. A wasp out in the open, outside of being around its nest, that animal's not going to mess with you at all. One thing that I like to try to mention to people is that wasps, all wasps in general, have a lot of predators. So mm -hmm. why are they so defensive? Why do they sting? Why do they seem aggressive? And it's not so much aggression as it is defense. So they're defending their colonies mm -hmm. from various different predators. Absolutely. They have opossums, skunks, so those are just around here that dig them up at nighttime. If I left one of these ball-faced hornet nests on the ground, they would chew it up and tear it up. So they have to be defensive of their colony. So that's why they are the way they are. But a lot of what they're defending against are mammals. Right. And that's why they have those little components in their venom to deter big old honking mammals like us right. from tearing into their nests and messing them up. But take a look at my arm now, folks. Here's the, surprisingly enough, the, the bald face doesn't have nearly the same welt as the German uh -huh. or the metric paper wasp, yeah. which is really interesting, but these are all pretty Nice and tender, that's for sure. So what's, what, what's the pain like for each one? Can you kind of distinguish it or is it just one big throb? Sure, sure. So I can distinguish, you know, from sting to sting. Honestly, the bald face is, all, is, is pretty subdued now. Okay. And that might just be because it was the first one that yeah. we did, um, but it's not super tender. I mean, you can see like, you know, I'll push on it and it'll kind of show up. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, blanches this one is still really tight, the German. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, really, you know, really still pretty painful. And then the polistes, I mean, is almost numb when I touch it. And the uh, second yeah. my finger comes yeah, off, it hurts it again. again. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm really impressed. This was a really good um, test and, and a really good comparison all at once. Cause right. I never, you know, I'm having to like catalog in my mind, like, oh, what is, a lot of stuff just kind of starts to run yeah, together. Yeah, right, yeah, sure. I mean, sure. it's like, okay, yeah, yeah, that was almost as painful as a bullet ant, but it didn't last as long. Right, Or it right. didn't itch as much afterwards. Right. Or, yeah. You know, but I would say, I mean, honestly, this polistes and this uh, bald face, I would say were pretty comparable to what you would experience from a defensive sting from a mm -hmm. bullet ant. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, it's not going to last nearly as long. My bullet right. ant sting swelled my arm up, and it was just, it was just sweating, and it's a, it's mm -hmm. a completely different neurotoxin. Right. But it lasted for like, you know, eight hours or mm -hmm. something like that. And yeah. then for, you know, another 11 hours, it just was itching the fire out of me. Big old humps, big information. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's nice. So you have it here, folks. This man was stung by four different wasp species, ones that I deal with regularly mm -hmm. on the channel. And he's able to give you at least kind of a gauge as to which ones are worse. I can't really say for sure, cause I'm not stung right back to back. And right. it depends on where I get stung. But for him, he was stung virtually in the same spot on his arm. It's a pretty controlled test, and he was able to give us a good idea as to what that's like. If you're into sting videos, real sting videos, we oh, all know whoa, what, we're, we all know what whoa, we're saying whoa, here. What do you mean, man? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh. Real sting videos, real bite videos to get a Absolutely. good idea. This guy has tons and tons of reputable sting videos sure. and bite videos for you guys to check out. Yeah. And it's all educational. It's mm -hmm. not, hey, look at me, look yeah. at these things, let me torture these animals. Right. It's about showing what they can do. Absolutely. And of course, disclaimer, no one should be trying to get stung by any wasp or be bit by any sort of insect or mm -hmm. animal on purpose for any reason whatsoever. Yeah. Don't try this at home. Yeah. That's my oh, that's man. my legal disclaimer. There you go. <laughs> So how do you feel like systemically? Do you, I feel great. I mean, most here? everything is localized. I, I am a nurse any... after yeah. all. <laughs> so I'm ready to jab in with an ad. That would be the first one I've given to somebody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, thank you guys so much for tuning in to check out this video. If you guys enjoyed this content, drop in the comments, let me know what you think. If you guys have a second, jump over to Jack's World of Wildlife and check out some of his awesome videos where he shows you guys and educates about animals, insects from all over the world. Not just here in PA, not just down in Texas, not just the United States, he is everywhere. And doing that to show people what different animals we have in this awesome earth of ours. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to check out this video and supporting my channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.